All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Richard Reviews Children's Books. I am Richard, and I have for you today... What's So Bad About Being an Only Child? by... Carrie Best? C-A-R-I? If you follow actual rules, it would be Care Best, but... Nah. And this is a book with kind of a muted color scheme about a woman, a little girl, who is an only child with a lot of names. She is the major focus of her family because she is that only child. She gets a lot of attention and she longs for brothers and sisters and all those sorts of things. And then she finds another way to fill the void. Again, I would have to caution a parent when you buy this book because this is a book that teaches children to fill the void with pets. And whereas that is a great thing to do if you cannot afford children, or if you don't really want the responsibility of children, this kid gets a lot of pets. She gets a turtle, a cat, a dog, a pig, a spider, a rabbit, and two birds. It is a lot of critters in this thing, and if you're not a fan of critters, just remember that critters are a lot of work, they're expensive, and whereas I think that your children would probably benefit from owning a pet, the thing to remember is that at a certain point the children need to be responsible for the pet. And you, you want a long-lived thing so that the children don't do a lot of crying. I mean, it's, it's just one of those kinds of things not all pets are good as indoor animals, so just just be aware of that, you know. Having a pet is a great way to teach a child responsibility. Losing a pet is an inevitability of life, and it does prepare you for further grief. I would still never recommend someone buy their child a rat, because they live two years, the vet bills are insane, and you know, then he dies anyway. So, so there's that, unless you want to feed it to a snake. And, and I would say that a turtle would be a great thing for a child to have, but what was this kid doing out alone to find that turtle? That's another question. Beyond that, I will say this was a fun book. It was a fun enough read. The muted color scheme makes this a pretty good bedtime story because it's not too bright, it's not too funny, I don't think a lot of children will be giggling when they, they read this book. But, hey, you know, this was a fun read. Again, if you're a parent who's not afraid of having pets, great book for you. But if you don't want your child asking you for pets, maybe lean away from this one. In any case, that's just my opinion, and it is only an opinion. So I'd love to hear yours down in the comments below. I'm Richard Leland Neal.